My worst, I, I would say one of the worst bombs I've ever had I, I, is 21st of September 2013. I still remember. Fuck. <laughs> it must have been so bad if you remember it was 9 11. <laughs> it happened on a Saturday and I was still working as an accountant then and I couldn't go to work on Monday because I was like so down from Saturday's gig. I actually was like, this is the weird thought I had in my head. I'm like, that was such a bad bomb. If I get out of the Duna, that bomb exists. But if I hide <laughs> under the Duna, it's my little bunker and the bomb can stay, you know, out there. It's not what inside the Duna. What made it so bad? So what made it bad was it was uh, it was actually the three year anniversary of my first ever gig, right? And it was that's why I remember the date. Not a good well. day to bomb, right? And I used it was at the Comics Lounge again. I know it keeps popping up, but my first ever gig was at the Comics Lounge in front of twenty people on a Tuesday night. And yeah. this was three years later. I'm the support spot. The headliner was Fiona Lachlan. The MC was big Joel opportunity. Creasy. First time I'm getting paid at the lounge, right? It was my first paycheck. Huge, uh, but you know. All of it was big. And I used to be someone meticulously would write out the set list every day, even though I knew it was the same set list every day. Uh, yeah. Just as a ritual, I would write, uh, you know, the, what, I'm, what, what the order I'm going to be doing it in with my, in my notebook. That day, I just wrote, just have fun, cunt, right? And I literally <laughs> just wrote that and circled it. And I went out and I had, I swear, <laughs> at, at the time, at the time, the best... The best starting seven minutes I've ever had because I must have been in such a great headspace yeah. about just embracing. Could not believe that I'm at the same venue that I started at, getting yeah. paid to do it finally. It was all like just just pure love. And at the seven minute mark, I got cocky and I thought I'll try a new bit. Oh no, <laughs> and, I've done that new, before at the lounge. And, Never and a good in my, call. In, my, in my head as well. So I'm only three years in, by the way. Remember how raw... Like, yeah. not only was I not good enough to do this bit today, maybe, but I was barely even able to do it back then. Three years in, about never go off script. Never go off script. The first time I'm doing the fucking weekend crowd at the comics lounge. And, <laughs> weekend but also, too. Yeah, it was a five-minute bit. And in my defense, here's the, here's the slight defense. I had tried it on the Monday night earlier at the lounge again, and uh, it went well. So I felt, yeah. you know what? It went well on Monday. I'm going to give this a go because this, this crowd's eating out of the palm of my hands. I'm fucking the king of comedy at the moment. This yeah. will be fine. And it was a five-minute bit, and in my head I went, you know what's five minutes? Even if you bomb, you've still got eight minutes to recover. So it's a 20-minute spot, right? And I had eight minutes of gold left to go. So... I then do the five minute bit. And how's this? The bit was about how I grew up in a Muslim house uh, with a Muslim grandmother who told me that she wished, uh, she, um, wished that I grew up as a Muslim as well. Uh, but because I'm not, that she has to go to hell uh, for eternity <laughs> because right. her grandchild isn't Muslim. And, and I somehow decided <laughs> to try and make that funny in front of a <laughs> Saturday night crowd <laughs> at the comics lounge. That's, this will be funny and relatable to all of the white mums and dads. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no. they're, they're literally, literally suburban mums in that audience. Like, oh, yeah. my Lord. And here's the thing. Like, to date, I have now... You, we talked about the competitiveness that I didn't know I had. That is at the back of my mind that one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make that bit work at the Comics Lounge on a Saturday just to prove it to myself that I just wasn't ready, that the bit... The whatever was in my mind is still funny, but I just couldn't get it out. And anyway, I bombed so hard that five minutes was such a brutal... Because it's not only bombing, like getting no laughs is bad enough but getting no laughs on something that's making the crowd really uncomfortable yeah i'm talking about literally one of the punchlines is about my grandma rotting in hell because of how adorable i was because it was like she had this belief but she still let me you know grow up in this in this house because of how yeah. cute and cuddly i was and i was like you think your parents have made sacrifices for you she's you know she's having satan she's burning you know in hell. Poker, burning in hell because of me and <laughs> and i bomb so bad that five minutes that that eight minute recovery never happened it was just another, <laughs> another oh, no. 13 minutes and it says the way it worked was at the back of the room where the bar is those people first start chatting then the yeah. row in front of them start chatting and then it just trickles till you have 400 people oh so they started talking Oh man, it Dilra, was I like... have never seen that at the lounge in my life. Yeah, I've a comic yeah. bombing oh. so hard that the audience starts talking. I've never I've seen, s- that. I've seen it. F- I've couple seen it. Couple times. I've seen it. I've seen it. It I'm happens. Glad to be- and here's the thing. So I, it yeah, actually the, shocked the point, me when it happened. I was like, I've never seen 400 people this un this disinterested <laughs> in anything. Like collectively, it's, they were all like, "Fuck whatever we paid for," and it's crazy to yeah. watch. It's and like, that is even worse because they paid for it. They're like, yeah. oh, "I'll just waste my money." 
<laughs> you are, yeah, no, exactly. You become one of those, you know, hotel lounge singers. You know, just there in the yeah. background. <laughs> That's and the worst. There, there, it, it was, it was such a level of rejection that I hadn't felt it was, <laughs> it, but, since but the, the last is, time you did the Exford, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that's that's different. See, this one to me was such a direct link between my own ego and the bomb. Yeah. Like it was because I got cocky. It's because I took them for granted. It's because like that thing which, which brought me here was the idea about stand-up comedy. You have to prove yourself every single time and you can't take whatever yeah. your previous achievements for granted. This concrete was such a concrete example of that first seven minutes was my most storming gig I've had. I probably had better since, but at the time, I could not believe how much I was rolling with laughter at the yeah. first seven that it went to my head and I went, fuck it, I can do this new bit. So since then, Often that's I actually it reckon... I reckon I've never bombed on a weekend at the lounge since then. It might happen now, but I don't know. But up since then, it has given me so much fear and respect for that for that it idea makes you of better. killing. It made me heaps better. Like it made me so much better because I I would never. But because like, now I would do the lounge and talk about having a Muslim family and all those things. I, I'm able to tap into that side of yeah. me. But it's because I put in the work that needs to go in before yeah. you can get there. I were as opposed to me going, oh, I kill for seven minutes. Fuck it. I'm going to talk about something that's a bit dark and heavy that I'm not really rehearsed that well. Let's see how we go. And then yeah. fucking I got my ass handed, handed to me so badly. Like I said, literally couldn't go to work on Monday because it was that painful. <laughs> and getting rough. getting paid afterwards for after that just, just felt so empty because it was meant to be this victorious moment for me. And I just went, I don't, <laughs> that's right. I don't you get paid I don't by the guys deserve, who run it. I don't even deserve this money. I'm just a That's fucking funny. fraud. It was, it was, it was a humbling. And going back to that, a word of humbling. The idea of if you don't have humility, fucking life will. Yeah, that is you. rough. <laughs> if you do so badly at your dream, you couldn't even go to your plan B the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you failed so badly at plan A that you can't even show up to plan B. You just go going straight to plan K, which is just kill yourself. Like that's, 